Specialist here for Inside Track TV. I'm standing with the driver of the number eight limited late model here at Sauble Speedway. The new age punisher, Jason Parker, a second place finish here tonight, but a phenomenal performance. Jay, even though you didn't walk out with the trophy, you gotta be happy with your performance. Yeah, it was great. Uh Car, we've been struggling a little bit and got a lot of help tonight. Uh, Jeff Waltz here helping us, Mark Daly and Mike McCall came tonight and all those guys uh, helped us a lot and we made big improvements. The crew always works hard but it's nice when you uh, bring some experts in and they help you out a little bit. Now yourself and Scott McTeer, uh, you had to come from a lot deeper in the field. You, you used up a lot getting by the lap cars I'm sure, but when you finally got near one another, I mean you, you had a heck of a drag race going on. I guess that's just another, another chapter in this uh, back and forth war that you guys have been waging the last little while. A real good season so far here at Sauble in 2012. Yeah, it's every night's tough with Scott. Uh, he's a uh, you know a top competitor. Uh, him and him and I have had uh, quite a battle this year, and uh, we're real close in the points. And uh, Scott's a good friend of mine, so it's nice racing with him. We give, we take, and uh, one of these times I hope I uh, get a little more than he gets. Now I know that aside from uh, from being a racer, you're also a, a real fan of the sport, and you're a solid gauge of talent. In terms of the late model division, the limited late model division right now, as a fan, who are your favorite three drivers doing it right now, anywhere in Ontario? Oh. Put you on the spot right now. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I'd have to pick myself in all three because I can't pick anyone else and not be biased. So, <laughs> me. <laughs> That's a good answer. That's probably the first time someone's actually answered that question honestly. So I'll give you, I'll give you credit for that. Thanks. You're, uh, you're making a real solid run at the point standings. You're also uh, right there with the MRE series at Sunset Speedway. Where else can we see you as the, as the season begins to wind down? If there, if there are fans that maybe can't make it to, to Sobble or Sunset, is there any other events on your radar? Uh, we always look forward to the to the fall races. Uh, Velocity will be there for sure. Uh, Flamborough's, uh, you know, probably. And of course, uh, Autumn Colors, uh, I'm expecting my second uh, child uh, around that time. So that'll uh, mean a lot whether I make it or not. But uh, we always look forward to those fall races. Uh, until the points run is over, probably not uh, too many other things. Uh, the McCall Pro, Pro Late uh, Series, we're, uh, like you said, we're involved in that and doing all right. So probably stick that out. All right, so go ahead and thank some sponsors for me because I know that uh, all this isn't possible without them. Yeah, those guys keep it going. So I'd like really like to thank uh, Prestige Contracting, Can Do Homes, Soggy Shores Transmission, uh, CNM Construction, McCullough Fuels, Mark Supply, uh, and uh, Keep Right, uh, and of course the crew, uh, Kevin and Adam, work uh, endless hours on this thing and they uh, they keep it going. Well, runner-up finish tonight. Best of luck the rest of the way in the, as far as the, the weekly racing and the points championship goes. And good luck next Wednesday. We'll uh, we'll be here covering the event for Inside Track News. We'll definitely try to get another sit-down with you and uh, see what you can do against some of the biggest limited late model names in the province. Jay, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks, Lost Racer. There you go, folks. Driving the number eight machine here at Sobble Speedway. It's the new age punisher, Jason Parker.